Yes, you're welcome to my channel. It's your boy Jacob. Now today I'm bringing to you another tutorial about career guidance. Basically, this information is to help our students, both in senior six, senior four, who want to join uh, a medical institution, those who didn't get a chance to join those uh, public institutions to take their favorite uh, degree programs, and they want to start from the grassroots, and they are looking for this information. Basically, I'm here for you to help you choose the right medical courses if you want to join a medical institution and you want to choose the right course to take your career forward basically i'm here to help you to guide you uh, to choose the best course which will help your career both financially and also to help you um, to kick start your career and progress and also on the job market uh, job opportunities is a very very you need to choose a course where you will get a job nowadays you just don't study for a sake of study you need to choose a course which is marketable and it will help you advance your career with no problem many people just go on to choose courses anyhow but you need to choose a course where the career advancement is very good and also very marketable where you won't be going around looking for jobs and today we are going to compare the career of an orthopedic officer versus a clinical officer. So gone are the days where diploma courses you needed two principal passes and more to qualify for them. Nowadays, all diploma courses are you need only one principal pass either in chemistry or biology, some in physics, uh, to to enter through the institution. So the qualifications are not as high as they used to be. Nowadays, to qualify for any science diploma course, you need one principal pass either in chemistry or biology. So but most institutions need prefer biology. So if you have one principal pass in either chemistry or biology, you can enter and do any medical uh, diploma course. So I'm going to compare the career of an orthopedic officer versus the career of a clinical officer, which is the best career for you for those who want to take up uh, these courses. Basically, both courses, yeah need one principal pass. Uh, clinical medicine, the schools are quite very many, from Bale, Fort Porto, Gulu, Kabale. There are so many institutions here in Kampala uh, teaching clinical medicine and basically it takes uh, three years for you to finish up this course. But with orthopedic medicine, uh, it's mostly Mulago, which uh, produces and uh, teaches orthopedic officers. So if you want to do orthopedic medicine, you need to go to Mulago, uh, Light Health, uh, then they'll give you that course uh, for three years. But let's look basically on the job market. A clinical officer and an orthopedic officer. Who has more job opportunities? Now, the clinical fees are the advantage with clinical medicine. They have wide knowledge. Uh, the only thing medical officers are better than clinical officers, basically surgery, clinical officers can't do cesarean sections, but uh, uh, but medical officers do cesarean sections. That's the major difference. But when it comes to clinical knowledge, surgical knowledge, or teaching this, uh, treating these common illnesses, uh, clinical officers have all that knowledge. And that's the reason they even manage health centers because they have wide knowledge over obstetrics, guidance, surgery, pediatrics, and they basically can handle a sub the level um, uh, medical institution. So most clinical officers are have a bigger chance in that they are allowed to open clinics, uh, private clinics, and they start private practice, which an orthopedic officer can't do. Orthopedic officers, basically, their jobs are in public institutions. They help orthopedic surgeons. They do POPs, and most of them nowadays don't have jobs, so they end up selling implants. So most of the people selling implants in Kampala and everywhere are mostly orthopedic officers. So their jobs are limited to uh, make POPs, helping orthopedic surgeons, uh, but most of them don't open clinics because they don't have that wide knowledge. Uh, their knowledge is basically in orthopedics and that's the disadvantage. Uh, but clinical officers have wide health knowledge and they can open up clinics and be successful in running their clinics with no institution. 
So when it comes to a job market, basically clinic officers have more jobs uh, compared to orthopedic officers. And when also in public institutions, uh, clinic officers are hired to manage health center threes. Yes, all health center threes in the country are managed by clinical officers, all of them. So most of them, when they are hired in public institutions, they are hired to manage health center threes at some county level. But an orthopedic officer cannot manage a health center three because they have limited knowledge. Most orthopedic officers, if they are hired in a public service, uh, they are hired in Lago, uh, basically making those POPs and agonizing some of those small illnesses, but they don't do surgery and most of them assist the orthopedic surgeons in their procedures. But a clinical officer has wide knowledge uh, over many things and they can manage clinics and they can also become a center three in charges. Another problem I see uh, with orthopedics uh, medicine at a diploma level is career advancement, just like uh, the the problem an athletic officers are facing. The orthopedic officers also have a problem with career advancement in that there is no degree in orthopedic medicine. No, an orthopedic officer, is, if it's to advance their career, they need to change their profession and they go and do full blown medicine and then they go ahead and become orthopedic surgeons. The same thing was also clinical officers. Uh, from there, they, if they are to advance their career, because they have wide knowledge of medicine, the best way is to go and do uh, uh, a bachelor's degree in medicine, and also uh, uh, they can choose any specialty they want. So most clinical officers who don't do uh, medicine, they go on to specialize in anesthesia, some go on to specialize in ENT, some go on to specialize in eyes, uh, some are uh, going to do tutorship. So clinical officers have a wider field of things they can specialize in compared to orthopedic medicine. So if I'm um, to choose for you the best career, if you want to do, uh, to, to, to choose between clinical medicine and orthopedic medicine, I will do advise you to choose clinical medicine because of the advantages I've just mentioned. Uh, they are good in more jobs. Uh, you can have a chance to start your clinic. Uh, and even the, the opportunities to grow your career is they are quite high compared to an orthopedic officer. The jobs for orthopedic officers are quite limited and you can't operate very well at the diploma level because of you are limited in knowledge and you are limited also in opportunities to advance your career. So basically, basically, if you want to choose the best profession for you which will start your career, my advice is to choose clinical medicine over orthopedic medicine. Yes, that's my advice to you, but the choice is always yours. But according to me and according to what I've seen, clinical officers have an upper hand compared to orthopedic officers.